What's up everybody, this is David here from Blooker's Videos and Collectibles, and today I have another eBay haul, and uh, I had an original uh, video that I found that had the unboxing and everything, but uh, something happened to the video throughout the filming, it just kept cutting in and out, and so I lost like parts of the middle and parts of the, the end, and uh, I didn't feel like uh, repackaging everything as it uh, would have been a pain in the butt because that would have been individually packaged with bubble wrap and putting all the peanuts back in and everything. And uh, so yeah, it would have been a pain in the butt to make it like it uh, originally came in. But the seller did do a good job of packaging it uh, with the, the bubble wrap and, and the peanuts to make it nice and secure. So anyways, um, as you can tell, uh, this haul is based on uh, uh, the action figures based on the, the movie Waterworld. And for those who haven't uh, uh, seen uh, Waterworld, it's basically a post-apocalypse uh, theme movie with starring Kevin Costner and Disney Hopper. And uh, pretty much, you know, it's kind of like uh, Mad Max on the water, but not, not as good. So um, anyways, uh, this film used to be, at the time when it came out in 1995, that it used to be the highest, uh, uh, um, or should I say the most expensive uh, film made back then but um it didn't do so well because uh universal studios was banking on it to be like a, a franchise a series of films but that didn't work out too well but anyways uh let's just go ahead and uh take a look at the figures that we uh that we have all right uh the first figure up is the atoll enforcer and for those who don't know what a toll is, uh, who haven't seen the movie, a toll is the uh, um, community that was uh, that's uh, that's on the, or should I say, uh, I want to say an island, but it's not. I guess you could say it's like a community that's just uh, floating in the water. But uh, anyways, this is the enforcer for that community, uh, a toll. So uh, on top of the package, we have in the middle water world with the, the little bit of water right here. And on the right of the package, we have the uh, uh, background uh, shot of a uh, atoll. And on the left is we have a picture of Kevin Cosner or artwork of Kevin Cosner uh, as the, the, the mariner. And that's his spear gun that he's holding. And... Uh, Good old K, uh, the good old KB Toys uh, sticker, very nice. You know, it looked like it's just fresh and uh, uh, just put out. Uh, and uh, you can tell this was didn't sell too well as uh, it went on clearance for three for five dollars. So originally back then, back in '95, these were eight bucks, and um, <clears throat> uh, you know, not much has changed in price when it comes to figures. Probably no more than two dollars uh, these days. So it went up to about ten dollars per figure these days in the stores so not that much but anyways um this is the Intol enforcer with the launching capture web and giant squid so right here we have the figure the enforcer who was played by rd call and um right, got a little gun here here's the, the translucent mutant squid and here's his net launcher so if we could take a closer look at that, we can just the mutant squid right here, and this is the enforcer. Here and on the back of the package, um, we have uh, the the plot of this toy line. <laughs> It's pretty much the uh, same thing. It says the same thing on all of them. And uh, on the left-hand corner, we've got the logo, Waterworld, with Kevin Cosner holding his spear. And these are the basic figures. Now, these figures, you know, they average about uh, 10 to $15 a piece. And uh, there's only six of them. And uh, here is the deluxe figures. And we have the... Uh, the trimaran, a trimaran, a rain, or however you want to pop, uh, pronounce it. Excuse me. So this is the uh, the ship that or or boat that um, Kevin Costner uh, used throughout the movie. 
So, okay, on to the next figure. Next up, we have Nord, and he was the uh, right hand man for Deacon, and he was played by Gerard Murphy. And he hadn't been in very many things. He's only been in a handful of films and mostly known for theater and stuff like that. So uh, he he passed away a few years ago, and uh, he's well known for Waterworld, and also he uh, he played the judge on uh, Batman Begins. <clears throat> so he comes with a firing uh, bazooka bomber and mutant crab. So here's the mutant crab right here. Here's his bazooka, and this is the uh, crossbow that he also comes with. It's probably a, a, a reused bolt for the from the Robin Hood toy line. And these are the two missiles that go in the bazooka. And here is Nord. Not a bad likeness. I think it's, they did a pretty good job with it. And back here we have the instructions on how to uh, use the uh, bazooka. Nord. On to the next figure. Next up we have Deacon, who was uh, portrayed by the late great Dennis Hopper, rest in peace. And he comes with a disfiring helmet and a mutant hunter shark. So this is the shark right here. Dark green translucent. Looks pretty cool. And this is the disfiring hamlet right here. And here is the deacon. Pretty nice likeness to uh, Dennis Hopper, I think. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> and on the back of the package, here's the instructions. Uh, this kind of reminds me of, excuse me, that kind of reminds me of the uh, um, weapon that um, the Kenner Toy Lines uh, Vasquez uses. A similar situation. All right, now moving on to the next figure. Next up, we got the uh, Power Bow Mariner with the shooting combat uh, bow, and of course we know this is uh, he was portrayed by Kevin Cosner, who has a ton of film credits. So. Y'all know who he is, so I don't have to go over go over any movies. Well, uh, I could name a few, just like Robin Hood and uh, Field of Dreams, The Postman, you know, all that good stuff. But um, he comes with a mutant moray eel. So here is a translucent, kind of a uh, light orange or yellowish uh, translucent. And uh, this is uh, the bow. And these are the the bombs and the arrows that he uses. Um, this is the same uh, repack, or these are like the same repacks for um, the Jurassic Park. Uh, uh, let's see, what are they called? Uh, dino trackers. Uh, one of the dino trackers, uh, T. Rex Turner. Uh, he uses the same weapons, so. You know, that's a reused part. <clears throat> and there's his little gun. So, here's Kevin Cosner. Got a pretty good likeness to it. And here is the instructions on how to use the, uh, the bow. So, um... Trying to get the guy to use the bow, cause, uh, cause like I said, I have a, I have T Rex Turner from the Dino Trackers, and it's just kind of you gotta position him in a good spot, you know, where he'll fall over. So, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta be careful with the, with the string, cause sometimes it will it will break, you know. 
Okay, moving on to the next figure. Next up, we have the Hydro Stinger uh, Mariner with the Blasting Aqua Spear and Mutant Manta Ray. And so here is the Mutant Manta Ray right here. That's more of the orange uh, uh, translucent right here for the Manta Ray. And here is the the Hydro Spear right here with the spear, the weapon. And that's, I don't know what that is. It was kind of weird looking thing. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, the same uh, uh, repaint. They use pretty much the same body mold. And um, the only difference is that strap that goes around them. And I think this is one that's closest to resemblance to the, the movie. So, yeah, pretty much the same body mold. And on the back of the package, here's the instructions. So you pretty much uh, have to dip your thing in the water to fill it up, and then you connect it to uh, connect it to it at the bottom on its hand, and then you squeeze the water and it shoots out the the spear. That's pretty neat. Moving on to the last figure. And last but not least, we have the Bola Attack Mariner with the Double Claw Launcher and Mutant Eel. So here's the Mutant Eel. So it's kind of like a, a dark purple uh, plastic, translucent plastic. And this is the... Uh, the double claw launcher or the double claw things that go in here and you use that to prop it up uh, this this piece uh, this this type of uh, uh, weapon has been reused plenty of times throughout the years when when Kenner was around um, they used this uh, uh, weapon for like the, the predator toy line the Batman toy line uh, the Jurassic uh, Park toy line and uh, so forth. So pretty much every toy line, at least, at least one time or another, except for some, except for a few. But uh, most, the majority of the toy lines that they put out, pretty much had this most common weapon that had the same gimmick, you know, different designs and whatnot. So uh, yeah. So this guy right here is uh, probably one of the more expensive uh, uh, out of the six. Um, I was lucky enough to to get this as a in a lot for uh the whole thing. It was on an auction and uh normally these lots can go between 50 on up and for like ba these basic 5 right here and um <clears throat> to have him in the lot is a blessing because I only was able to I got this with free shipping for $34. And uh I was really excited when I won this lot. Funny thing is, probably a month later, um, uh, somebody had the ho this whole set, you know, this whole set right here uh, for a $35 free shipping, and somebody won that, and I was kicking myself in the head, like, why did I not wait? But um, it happens, though. Um, but yeah, the, he he's the most expensive one, uh, single carded. He goes for t anywhere from 20 to 25 and up. I've seen him being sold for like 50 bucks, you know. So if you if you are going to collect these figures, your best bet is to uh, get these in a lot, you know. And if you can get the whole thing, go for it. Um, but yeah, the, these are creeping on up, and uh, they uh, people are are buying these because you know they need some extra guys, mainly for. Uh, Jurassic Park, you know, they want to add more humans to the Jurassic Park collection. And, um, so, yeah. Like I said, single carded, these guys go for, um, <clears throat> 10 to, to 15. Uh, these guys, these guys are pretty expensive as well. Uh, they, these guys go for anywhere from 20 to 25, maybe 30 at the most. And this thing, this thing right here can, can get up there as well. I've seen it go for... As low as maybe thirty five on up, as high as maybe a hundred bucks. So I'm waiting on a good deal for this. So 
thankfully I was able to get these two all these uh, six basic figures for for 34 and that was uh, that's a steal if you ask me but um, yeah anyways um, here's the instructions for the uh, uh, the launcher and uh, yeah nothing much to it so so yeah that's uh this is my uh eBay haul for for the water world figures and uh let me show you this little guy right here this is a loose figure that I have so I'm going to go through it with you so y'all can basically get an idea um if I can get it to focus I think that's one thing that kills me sometimes is lack like of focus but uh but anyways um I think it's more trying to focus more on the background than it is on the actual figure. So if I can try to bring this guy up here, maybe he can focus a little bit more on it instead of the stuff on the background. But oh well. Uh, yeah, this is basic uh, five-point articulation. The head goes around, the arm goes 360, and you can move the legs up and down every you want. You can pose them with the splits. So, yeah, and um, I brought out some figures to do comparisons, so if you want an army build with these guys, you can, so here's a Kenner uh, Aliens, and here's a comparison to uh, Robin Hood. I like this more likeness to him than it is this. I think this is a little bit, uh, the head's kind of big on, on the Robin Hood figure. And, uh, uh, yeah, this is Apon. Uh, it took me a minute to, to figure out his name. So I just Apon. So this is from the Kenner Aliens, as I said before. And here's Series 2, uh, Alan Grant. Uh, he has the, he has the Bola, Bola launcher. So... So if you wanted to collect these guys for your Jurassic Park, you can. And here's uh, Trend Masters uh, Lost in Space, Don West. I think that's his name. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So pretty much in scale. So all these are like four inch figures. And um, here is my Blu-ray copy right here. So... Yeah, like I said, this is like a, a guilty pleasure of mine, and uh, I really enjoy this film. You know, it's a good, uh, uh, pop it in, you know, if you want to get a little escape from reality, and I really enjoy this. So, they was going to uh, make a figure of the, of the girl. Um, I don't know her name, I don't remember her name, but yeah, they had a figure that was going to be released of her, but never made it past the, uh, prototype stage. I've seen, I've seen photos and prototypes. I think I've seen a video on it too. So, yeah, this is, uh, there's not very many, uh, uh reviews out there of these figures. So, <clears throat> But anyways, guys, uh, uh, that's the end of my video. I, I hope you all enjoyed this and as much as I did. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you can uh, receive all my videos. I uh, just want to let you all guys know I still I, I just now got me an Instagram account. Uh, you can follow me at um, uh, Blue Cruise Videos and Toys. Um, because they wouldn't let me add collectibles because they're too long, so that's why I changed it up to toys. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, just follow me on Instagram, um, which videos, collectibles, and toys. And, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be posting. That's just mainly a, a page for me just to post uh, movies that I'm watching, my to uh, figures of my collection, pictures of my toys, and, and movie collections, and things like that. So, uh uh, thank, I just want to thank y'all guys for watching. Uh, thank you for all the comments and likes. And um, and I appreciate all the love and support you have, you have shown me. And um, and that's that's it. And I will see you guys later.